Let's play Blackthorn, a game for the Super Nintendo released by Blizzard. Yeah, they actually made something other than Warcraft and Diablo. I was surprised too. We can go to practice, but uh, I'm not going to bore you guys with that. I know how to play the game. Let's just go right into it. But of course, after we see the story. Every game's got a story. Sarlax Keep, deep in the heart of Tool. Story honestly isn't all that relevant to the game, but, uh, you know, part of the experience. That is the main, uh, antagonist in the chair there. And these orcish creatures are his subordinates. We'll be seeing a lot of the orcish creatures. A lot of them. That is some awesome animation. There are holes in his skin. Stone Fist, south of the borderlands. Farewell, my son. That little guy there, that's us. We don't play as a little guy though. This is all a flashback. Sorry to spoil that for you. It's all a flashback even though you're gonna find out in about two seconds. Yeah, see? I remember that day well. My father's last words forever echoing in my mind. Kyle, my son, you must take the Lightstone and hide among the Earthlings. Guard it with your life. For if it should fall into Sarlacc's evil hands, all will be lost. With time you will grow strong, and someday you will return to Tool to fulfill your destiny. That was 20 years ago. Hey, it's a light! It teleported us. And yeah, I don't really know why. So, thus the game begins. This is our protagonist, Kyle Blackthorn. Kyle's kind of a lame name, considering you know King Laros and and all the other names that have been around. Kind of controls like a Prince of Persia game, the original one. Which isn't all that bad. These are our friends! They're kind of tied up at the moment. Not doing too well. Um, useful information right there. These are bombs. Bombs blow up doors, and they also attack enemies. And hey, here's our first enemy. As you can see, he kind of just faded into the background. You press up and you can kind of, I guess, flatten yourself against the wall and you can avoid getting shot that way. Unfortunately, so can most enemies. So you just lean out at the right time and shoot him in the head. Enemies are very easy in this first area. They do get a lot more difficult. Here's another door which I will blow up. You don't want to stand too close because the bombs will hurt you if you're right in the way. So let's free this guy. He gives us a potion. And yeah, can you guess what the potion does? I, I shouldn't need to explain that. We can also do that epic little roll there. That's for the most part useless. Bam. So this is it. This is Blackthorn. Nice little break from Silent Hill, I think. 
Yeah, running jumps go farther than normal jumps. And now this is an elevator. Elevators, yeah. This is uh, the second area. You get passwords, but I'll just use save states because I don't feel like typing in passwords. Yep, that's true. Now we get to the red orcs. Red orcs take more than one hit. Still not a problem. However, they also tend to use bombs. Bombs that uh, go on the floor. Which, as that guy was trying to tell us, it's better to jump over those than to lean against the wall. Because that just does not work. And that orc is a little too close to the ledge. Okay. If you get too close to the orcs, they will kind of kick you or hit you or something. And knock you backwards like that. You freaking jerk. Yeah, when they hit you, they laugh at you. Oh crap. Yeah. That's what happens if you get too close. Oh, come on. Get out of the way. Move. Go. What are you doing? Okay. Aw. Aw. One nice thing is you have unlimited ammo. Um, I won't go that way just yet. So I want this. Nice little potion. Yeah, important information right there. You can't beat this level without knowing that. Elevator sequence. Ah! Oh no! Did not see that coming. And I'm already doing terrible on health. Right now our gun is pretty pathetic. We do get kind of upgrades for our gun as the game goes along. Let's head through this door. Oh no, here's a first type of major enemy. He's kind of watching over these guys who are electrocuting the floor. Truly strenuous work electrocuting the floor, you know. Throw a bomb at him! That's the easy way to beat that guy. You really don't want to get caught, or you really don't want to try shooting that guy down. It just doesn't work out. Actually, wait. Let's talk to this guy first, see if he has any useful information. Hey, he gave us a bomb! What about this guy? What's he gonna give us? You gonna give us a bomb? A potion? You are going to give us nothing? Then you will pay! <laughs> yeah, that's right. You can kill your own guys in this. Oh, I love this game. That's gotta be one of the best things ever. So, that guy dropped that. The power to make a bridge. Pretty cool. Wait. Okay. I was looking for a waterfall. I remember that guy telling us there are secret passages and waterfalls. And there's, I think, two. One of them's optional, one of them's necessary. Head through this door. Well, that would suck, being chained right next to a skeleton. Thanks. Let's head up this wall. How's it going, buddy? Yeah, you're hopeless. Let's jump up here. Hey, you killed that guy. He's out cold. You should have killed him. Whoa! Oh, no! Oh, crap. Oh, and I'm dead, too. Wow. This is the game over screen, which I intentionally did to show you guys it. Well, that wraps it up for this episode of Let's Play Blackthorn. See you next time, viewers.